but you're asking for relief. And if it's all your fault that this is happening, you how can I say, okay, you'll have another chance. And then say, if something bad happens, it would be sh not shame on you. It would be shame on the idiot judge under these circumstances that released you when you it's couldn't follow the rules. I mean, if this is serious, these are ever. What's that? I'll never make a mistake about that. The, the, oh, wait. What a mistake. The mistake of having that off after the 90. Well, okay. And the mistake of 10 minutes going before to my you. House when, I, when I should. I'm sorry. 10 minutes before you did that, if I had to ask you, are you going to make a foolish mistake by cutting this thing off? What would you have said? That's one fucking nice kitty right there. What are we doing on this, please? Uh, he's asking for a bottom, Judge. Yeah. Some forward 23CR804, Charlie Ed Price, that's you? Yes, sir. Present with Mr. Reynolds, your attorney. The yes. state's attorney is uh, here. You are charged with the first degree felony of aggravated assault, date, family, house, relationship, with weapon. Uh, it's it, it, essentially, you are alleged with to have uh, committed an aggravated assault on a and the complainant was a person you were in a dating relationship with and it's a first degree felony which means you face no less than five no more than 99 years confinement in prison or life imprisonment a fine up to ten thousand dollars can be assessed the uh, I've reviewed the a probable cause affidavit, which is very succinct. It doesn't give a lot of details. Your bond right now is in an amount of how much? Uh, Judge, he had a bond set after this offense by the magistrate. Of how much? What the, I think it was your original bond was 10, they, then they increased it to 50. Was it 10 or was, uh, What's his bond in this case? I'm looking, Judge. It's currently no bond. Judge. There's no bond. What's, okay. It, it what, so the, the, how would it wind its way to no bond? Well, on what the happened to is, way, which is, is he had a GPS monitor on, and he was confused as to the uh, the importance of the GPS monitor, and there was some confusion as to whether he could take it off or not after his protective order uh, expired, and uh, he didn't have a lawyer at the time, at least one he was in communication with. Uh, he understands now, I've gone over this with him about the importance of maintaining a GPS monitor and also uh, no contact with the victim. He, he, no bond, Judge. Uh, he, he would ask the court to set a bond uh, so he could get out. He's concerned. He doesn't want to contact his wife, but his wife. What was the history of the bonds? That's why I'm curious about. How much were they? I, I couldn't. I can't find that amount, Judge. With the new system, it's hard for me to determine the exact amount. Charlie, how much was your bond? Thirty. Thirty. Yes, sir. Thirty. Thirty. Went to sixty. With the protection. The last one that bond that I showed before the no bond was sixty. It, it was Five zero. Six, six zero. Six zero. Sixty. Less than thirty, then no double for some reason. Well, he, I guess the, because sixty is an odd amount. They 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 added thirty, and then they excused it to sixty, and then added the, the uh, after the DA picked up the accusation. I don't I don't know exactly what happened during the period. Uh, he understands he wasn't supposed to take the GPS monitor on. He will not do it again. He's got a medical issue that he'd like to get taken care of. He has a company that is near. You're appointed on this? I'm hired, Jeff. You are? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm saying that because there was an affidavit of indigence here that's not filled out, and it says, why not? And it says, you were uncooperative with the uh, people 
then I was just curious. Uh, I believe he has funds, basically. Then it says, will inmate hire own? Yes. So I guess he did that. The Judge Collins on June 14th of 2023 set the bond at $60,000. And do you remember being in front of him? Judge Collins. I went to an arraignment with a gentleman. Uh, he has. Does he have white hair? I can't remember if it was. We all have oh, white Judge hair. Judge Collins. I went to a judge with white hair. Oh. African American man or no, Caucasian? Sorry, Caucasian. Okay. Yeah, Judge Collins is African American. I think man. Judge Ruin said. It was Judge you don't remember Judge Collins being in front of Judge Collins? Judge, the gentleman, the judge with the white hair said, a, this has never happened to me before, but uh, a judge is stepping in on my arraignment for the protective order and, okay. and the uh, anti monitor. And I never met with that judge. I'm looking at uh, January, on January 12th. What was it? Habeas, a paid, violation of protective order. And I paid 20000 in cash on August 28th of 2023. It says offense date, protective order, violation. Court sets amount of bond of $10,000. That's one of the And three, that's January 12th. That's one of the three pending misdemeanors. Yes, misdemeanor cases. Okay. And so, just since the, your honor has the right to say he was arrested. Um, on which case? This judge? case we're here in front of. He's in front of me. On. Uh, Let's see. This says on or about June tenth of twenty three, right? So the indictment date on this is June twenty eighth of twenty twenty three. Okay. When does he get out of bond? When is, is he released on this case, please? Uh, his most recent arrest, judge? Or no, no. Let's do it in time. First time okay. he's arrested. In June, when is he released and for what amount? Uh, uh, arrested on June, June the 5th shows a $60,000 surety bond. 50000 Six zero. Okay. Fine. I submit that that's justified initially at that amount, Your Honor, because he, of the, one of the underlying misdemeanors, the very first one against the same victim occurred. The offense date was August 13th of 2021. So he was out on bond whenever this felony offense that you're looking at is set in that regard. And I know that's important to Your Honor, so I wanted to interrupt to let you know that that's part of our site sequence. In addition to that, Judge, there are two other misdemeanor offenses that are alleged that occurred after this offense state that you're looking at. Both are violations of protective order in regards to the offense that's alleged all the way back to August of 2021. All same victim. Is it this the same complainant in this 23 CR yes, Oh. And that she's, uh, okay. she's been in contact with me today. Uh, she's in fear for her life. And, uh, all right. Well, according to the state, he's a, he is arrested and charged with this first degree felony of aggravated assault. And he is placed into custody on or about what? June what? The date he that she was June 11th of 2023. June 11th is when he's arrested prior to indictment, I guess. Yes, sir. And he is indicted on June 28th, two, uh, about two weeks, a little over two weeks later of 2023. After he is arrested for the first time. And then after the indictment comes out, June 28th, how many other events, which all, all bond conditions have no contact with the complainant, commit no crimes, uh, they're in all bond conditions. How many separate occasions 
is it showing that he violated those bond conditions? Two separate charged events, Sean. What are the dates, please? Those dates. There, there are a date in July and a date in August, but let me get you okay. specific. That's, that's, that's okay. Subsequent to him being indicted, subsequent, uh, subsequent to hit the arrest, subsequent to the later indictment, about two weeks later, he is being arrested and charged with two violations. Um, two separate violations. Which are, what were the arrests for, please? Those are violation of protective order. All right. Can you respond to that? How we're supposed to be able to protect people and release him on bond when he's having contact with people and being charged with protective order violations? That, that's that's very serious. Yes, sir. I, 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 no, no, no. He, you made a promise when you first got out you would. Sir, subsequent to that, you've been charged with two separate offenses of those violations. Huh? My wife's been in and out of the hospital. I'm sorry? My wife has been in and out of the mental hospital. What does that mean? I, what does that mean? That she, she can be a, she can be I, violated? I, I, and, 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 sir. Well, the, hey, the grand jury thought otherwise, didn't they? Yes. Okay. And I have never done anything. One of the things is also GPS angle monitor. What was that? Did you tell me that the angle monitor was taken? It was off? removed, Your Honor. That's what resulted in the no bond. And I, I thought it was. I thought you thought, it, thought was, it was what? The ninety days I called, and uh, I thought it was. Well, oh, who did you call? The bond, uh, the angle monitor company, uh, Johnny Zhu. Uh huh. Yeah, I want to. I want. I will have them here too. Yes, We're going to have a hearing on this yeah, later yeah. this week. Our, our counsel yeah. got off of this case behind no, the He's talking about it. Talking he's about talking it. about it. He's oh my God, he's talking. He's talking about it. Yes. It's other people's fault. No, we're going to, we're going to, it's my fault. Are you going to interrupt? No. Would you have a chance to be heard? You are a rude, terrible person. We're going to have a hearing on this. I want some witnesses here because we're talking about the Constitution and the right of bond. But I can guarantee you, I'm not going to release you right now when there's substantial information before me that you can't follow the conditions of bond. You're contacting the complainant. You're sawing off or taking off your ankle monitor. Those are things that don't happen. And when they do, they're dealt with severely. I'll have a hearing on this uh, Wednesday. I did give everybody 48 hours. Okay, we'll set a hearing on that. But when you're doing that, I'm, if it's found true, you're not going to, you're not going to, there's no conditions of bond I can set because I have to rely on you to follow what the rules are. And when you don't, especially contacting or taking off devices on it improperly, I want, I'm going to want Johnny's up here to explain to me how they approved that. He, he's not saying they're free. No, I, no, he's saying, he's calling, uh, he's saying other people, he's, he's using other people to, for the responsibility of his decisions. We're going to get everybody involved and, and once again, I'll make a decision. But you're asking for relief and if it's all your fault that this is happening, you how can I say, okay, you'll have another chance. And then if something bad happens, it would be sh not shame on you. It would be shame on the idiot judge under these circumstances that released you when you I'm couldn't follow the rules. Well, I mean, if this is serious, these are ever. What's that? I'll never make a mistake. Oh, wait, what a mistake. The mistake of cutting that off after the 90. Well, okay. And the mistake of ten minutes going before to my you house when I when I should. I'm sorry. Ten minutes before you did that. If I had asked you, are you going to make a foolish mistake by cutting this thing off? What would you have said? Absolutely, will I do it again? If no, no. What would you have said? It's absolutely wrong. What would you have said if if I had asked you ten minutes before you did it? Are you going to really do that? What would you have said? I'm never going to do it again. I'm no, no. What would you have said before you cut it off? If I had asked you that. Are you about to cut your GPS monitor? What would you have said to me? Okay. 
you'd have lied to me. No, sir. I would. I would have never lied to you. You would have lied just then. I, wait, wait, wait. Are you saying I don't want to? I don't understand the question. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. I would never take. I'm never cutting anything off my ankle ordered by a judge. I'm never going to disobey a judge's order. That well, not to go to my house. I'm never going to. Make a mistake, you or did, but you a did crime that. like that. But you did that, right? I absolutely did, sir. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So, how many three three chances do you get? No, oh. I don't get any three chances. Oh, you're right. You month, don't over a month in jail, and I'm sorry. Absolutely sorry. It had, yeah. Uh, bad choices have consequences. Yes, sir. But shame on you the first time. Shame on me. Putting people in harm's way after we know what we know now. Shame on me for giving you a third chance. Do you really think I'm going to open the door? What's fair for you is fair for everybody. Everybody gets third chances now. Or are you special? I mean, then it, it's the same rules everybody has to follow, sir. It's a test. When you fail the test, you don't move to the front of the class. You fail. You get an F. And you have to pay a consequence. But I'll have a hearing on Wednesday. Hear more evidence. Uh, but it doesn't look, I, I'm not changing my past practice. You get a fair opportunity when you fail and not and showing that you can't be trusted while on bond, you don't get a bond again. Because this is a test all the time to see how you're going to do. You can't say, oh, now I'm really, really going to really now really follow the rules now, really. When you look the judge in the eye and said, yes, I would. In fact, you sign a document. And the bond that says, I understand my mind can be revoked. Anyway, uh, we'll deal with it. Let's see. Christopher Cormier, thanks. Let's go. That is one big pile of shit.